what's going on guys welcome back to another video so i got some news for y'all got some things we gotta talk about and a little bit of a rant for me i guess life after has decided to you know listen to us after what a couple thousand years later nice glitch game but like the devs are actually doing something that the players asked for ages ago which they should have done when it was asked but they're doing it so late when the communities literally like faded away has disappeared like do you guys realize how many people has quit this game because of lag and all of that lots of people have quit and the thing is with this game right now where it is right now it's the game is still fine but the game is getting stale and the devs are actually now starting to do something well that's at least something from the devs I didn't expect them to do this, but they're going to add a autocomplete in Snow Highlands and Swamp, I'm pretty sure. Here's the update notes on what they're actually going to add. The following contents will be added in the update of September 3. Yeah, okay. I guess I can't raid in peace, bro. So yeah, two autocomplete snow and mouse swamp. I guess that is confirmed on September 3. You know, that is actually amazing from the developers that they're actually doing that. The most important thing is nerfing the drop chances on the muzzle and knob. So I guess it will be easier to get muzzle and knob. But the point is of nerfing muzzle and knob, it's the thing is that people will still not be able to get them because they will still be rare. They will still be hard to get and the problem will still exist until the very end. Some noobs are just still going to get even more muzzles and knobs easier. While we, the actual players who really invest into the game, is not going to get the knob or the muzzle. Like, let's be honest guys, getting the muzzle is a huge pain, especially when you have to fuse them together, when you have to make them blue. You have to even get, you know, three muzzles at least to make a blue muzzle. And if that fails, well, congratulations, you just lost your muzzle. Since green muzzle doesn't really have an effect, if you check right here, this is a live muzzle, right? And basically for having three greens, all you can do is roll. And the roll is, it, let's be honest, the roll isn't, oh God, oh God. The roll isn't good, it's useless. This guy is aggressive, dude. This guy is very aggressive. The only set bonus comes is when you have a blue muzzle and three blue mods total. So for example, if this was a blue muzzle, you had the blue this and blue this, then you would be getting a last set bonus, which is triggers up to blah, blah, blah. Basically you get attack power plus one and you get a bonus for assault rifle damage bonus. That is good. Attack power, it gives you more attack power and gives you more damage to your, you know, rifle. But not shotgun though, just rifle. Which is also a great thing, it's a balance. The shotguns are already broken anyways, so it's fine by me. My point is, even if they add, or even if they make the muzzles easier to get, it's still going to be hard to get them still going to be a struggle and nothing is going to change but i hope something will change at least what i advise for you guys right now is to not do weekly rebuilds or you know because well after the update you will be able to get the muzzle by higher chance and boy i'm gonna die right now And spank this guy, spank that guy, make sure I get my shield up a little. Oh my god, the damage is pretty high, bro. This is what I mean, shotguns are pretty broken. This guy just got, what, 500 damage from my shotgun? Like, bro, what is going on? How much damage? But let's say I'm also getting a lot of damage too, so it's no much different. Look at all of these people gathering up, dude. Look at them. 
But yeah, guys, save your weekly rebuilds. Don't do them yet. Wait for the updates. And once the update is out, then you can literally do all your rebuilds. Try to get that muzzle. Try to get that knob. If you don't get it, that's all right. Welcome to the no muzzle gang. Because I ain't getting it either. Boy, these people are so angry, man. I can't put ammo here, so that is going to hurt me a lot. I'm going to try to run away. And I didn't even raid this house. Dude, what is this camp? Why is there so many people? What is just <laughs> what is going on, dude? Like, look, that, that that's a sheep gang right there, guys. Like, what am I watching? Jesus. See, another thing I wanted to mention, guys, is um, you can buy mods in Trade City. And buying mods from the Trade City, oh boy, Nadies, I think you made another big mistake. If you can buy mods from the Trade City, there is so many people that will be able to sell mods. And you can literally camp the market and just buy mods. Like, okay, dude, that that's not really that great because think about all the whales all the people like all the pay to win people and all of that stuff like it, it's a little bit it's gonna ruin the game because it's actually going to ruin the game and i don't know what to do next i don't have ammo i gotta run away let's put some ammo down get that going There's so many people, dude. I don't even know where they're coming from. Why is there so many? Okay, I need to actually heal. I need to survive, guys. I don't want to die, man. But yeah, if you just think about it, imagine buying a muzzle or a knob or just selling it to some random player and they're actually going to buy it. I hope, guys, I just hope that there will be a limit for buying mods because any pay to win can just scam the market with an auto clicker, buy it from the market basically without needing to do dailies, without needing. Basically, they, they're just, they can just scam the market, that's it. it it's over, dude. You, you don't have to do anything. Just sit there, have your gold ready, buy it from the market. That's it, no struggle needed, just have gold. You have gold, you're going to max out your attachments pretty quick, doesn't even matter. You're just sitting there chilling, you're, you're good, you know. Free to play players, or at least let's say, people that can't really compete against pay to win, it, it will be even worse for them, so... My point is... Selling mods or buying mods from the Trey City is no good, that's just... That is not going to work out, man. For me, especially since I'm competitive. Guys, I'm definitely not pay to win. And let's be honest. Does it look like I spend money in this game? I don't wail. That's just not how I work, man. People don't believe it. People think I spend a lot just because I have a couple of outfits. Alright, so this guy's on my tail, bro. They just don't want to leave me alone. They don't want to leave me alone. I can't even heal. The drone's like, hello, drone, do something. Heal me, please. Thank you. This is actually my first video. Like, doing turbulent after what? After a couple months? I haven't done turbulent since forever, dude. Since ages. I don't even know what camp this is. I don't know what I'm against. I'm just literally just having fun being chased by 20,000 people, dude. It's literally a sheep gang following me over and over. They add furniture every update, right? The furniture thing, I don't really care about furniture, but if you actually go to the market and look at the furniture, well, you can't buy furniture for free. Every single furniture requires feds. Every single one of them. There was a couple furnitures, like I think 60 Dura bed, which you could buy with just the training points, which was actually nice. But I feel like every single furniture, even if it's rare, should be for free with points. You should be able to grind it out with these points. Of course, it should be really expensive, so you would have to do every single task and get every single point. 
and you can buy it only once. So you would decide if you want that furniture or that, you know, you could just buy it for free without actually spending feds. Not many people buy or top up for feds. But that's just on me. I don't know what you guys think. Let me know if they should do that. It would be nice of them. I don't think they would do that because you people might say, oh, the developers also need to make money. They do make money, guys. They do make lots of money from literally making these lucky hunts, from making this lucky gift boxes and all of that, from selling these bikes, from selling these drones. They do make a lot. And I feel like putting just free furniture that you could grind out by just these points i think that would be fair for us but again i'm no whale you guys might think i'm pay to win think again if you think that i'm pay to win i feel really good because i'm not and also this is not my account i'm not playing on my account because i literally could not do turbulin again so i just logged into a different account but i do it again so yeah i hope netties doesn't mess up this one because you remember guys how they added the rebuild system where you get rewarded nanoplastic and mods well before that you didn't get rewarded nanoplastic you get rewarded mods and now they balanced it after a week because they saw how broken the new rebuild system is they saw that giving players five modifications a day from one rebuild is too much so they nerfed it they added nanoplastic as a filler so you get less mods from a rebuild because you could literally get 25 modifications from a rebuild per day that was broken and the people were complaining about it i mean you guys are a little bit too greedy you know 25 mods a day is a lot and you could max out your mods so quick if that existed till now let's be honest i mean it's not bad that they added nanoplastic it's fine but the numbers of nanoplastic could be higher like 5k 3k i don't know something like that like if you get a blue box dude give us at least 5k golden nanoplastic not 600 like hello netties what is that why would you give us 600 nanoplastic i can literally bun 10 mats and get that so pretty much guys uh i hope netties doesn't screw up i hope life after doesn't screw up on this update Fingers crossed that there is a limit in the trade city to buy mods. So let's say you buy one modification from the trade city and then you get a limit for let's say two days or three days or a week. Because imagine if you could literally just whale mods. You're pay to win, you have lots of gold. You can literally just buy mods from trade city nonstop and make your attachments 20-20-20. And then the free-to-play players who could still compete will not be able to actually do that anymore. Like before, if you guys remember, this game did not have the shield system, it did not have the star system. So the free-to-play players could, you know, compete against the pay-to-win players. The only thing that was that free-to-play players were behind is the modifications because pay to win players would be able to buy mods with feds and free to play players could only do that with gold i mean it is actually balanced because free to play players can also grind lots of gold they can have lots of gold stocked and they can st they can also buy the mods from the market but i'm talking about huge whales i'm talking about the real the real whales man like it, it's going to hurt a lot the, of the free to play players who actually are competitive and it's just i don't know we will see what's going on in the update um about the autocomplete though that's pretty cool i like that they are doing this stuff autocomplete and snow highlands and swamp will help me a lot thank you i will for sure autocomplete for sure i'll take it take those duty points and that free experience i guess i'm pretty excited for this update i just hope it does not ruin the game once again like it did with the star system i mean when star system came out i really wanted to quit the game i just felt like dude i can't take this anymore the star system is just it's stressing out dude it's just so much that you have to do like the game was already literally a job dude but the star system just made it worse but i think it will be fine just the buying mods part is just i don't know man i don't know we'll see in the update i'll do my weeklies after the update and i'll try to get that non-existent muzzle let me know your thoughts guys let me know what you think about this update let me know in the comment section there's always new things that get added which we will like which we will dislike but still 
I'm just gonna stay neutral until the update drops. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.